What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about type inference in TypeScript. Type inference is used everywhere. In fact, I would say type inference is more common than strict type annotations. And type inference, so if you were to infer something, like if me and you were having a conversation and I turned into somebody who couldn't take, like I'm somebody, like I like criticism and I like people to, crit like I think criticism is good to a certain point, but some, a lot of people do not like criticism at all. And let's just say we're having a conversation and for some reason, I think that you are insinuating that I am a dumbass. And I would say, did you just make the inference that I am a dumbass? <laughs> That's kind of the, the idea. You are trying to form a relationship in a non-explicit way. Or if you were to explicitly have a type annotation, you would go in here and you would type in string. But what's going to happen in TypeScript is it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to say, hello, Pikachu string. Did you just insinuate that you are a string? And what, what TypeScript is going to do so it's going to go over here and it's going to assign this underneath the hood. You're not going to actually see it. This doesn't, it's not going to exist. It's almost invisible. It's going to assign the string to it and basically do it for you. There's a little algorithm underneath the hood that will take care of all of this. And that is essentially what type inference is. So the best way to kind of understand it is to see it in action. So we've already got this right here and it automatically does it for us. But let's just say I want to take this out for some reason. And I'm gonna take this one out too, but I'm gonna leave Boolean because I want to explicit be more explicit about this. So if I hover over this, you will see that it is still a string. The string type actually still exists because TypeScript has done the inference for you. And in my opinion, and in work environments that I've worked in, type inference is totally fine. You can use type inference. You don't have to go through each and every variable like this and explicitly assign things. I think with functions, it's a little bit different, but with variable annotations, most of the time in a production environment, you're going to rely on inference. And inference is okay because the type is still there. Like it's still there, you just don't see it. But if you use any, and this will also allow it to work, watch what happens. And any basically turns off type checking. And any is very bad. Do not use any. Maybe sometimes. Sometimes you have to. So if I hover over it, you'll see that any is there. But we don't want any. And we will talk about any in the next video. So let's talk about what's really going on. A lot of people want to know, you know, more a little bit more in depth. What is going on is that there is an algorithm that TypeScript utilizes called best common type. And this occurs from a, uh, a right to left fashion. So it's going to use a fancy algorithm that I have really no idea how it works. And it's going to look in here, it's going to assign the best or the best common type. And essentially it's going to assign what it can get away with. So a more complex, let's do a more complex example. And I've actually got an example right here of an array. So if you assign an array, watch what happens. It's kind of a little, little bit more funky. So in the arrays, um, in, in the arrays version, what's happening is it's going to be, um, let me see what it was. Yeah, it was, it was number and null and it has that little pipe in the middle. So what is the pipe? The pipe uh, basically means or. Like if you're done any programming, a pipe is usually or, and in this case, it's the exact same thing. Sometimes people call it a union, and essentially it can be number or null in this case, and it automatically does all of that for you. But let's look at an even more complex, complex example. And this one, is actually going, it's going to be best common type. And then after this, we're going to talk about contextual typing, but it's literally the same thing. And I probably didn't even need to make, I went, went and made all these little classes for it so that you could see how it works too. But if you hover over it, 
the exact same thing is going to happen. You've got all those pipes, and it can be a rhino, elephant, or snake, and it's going to be an array of all of those. So next thing is going to be contextual typing. So contextual typing is going to be right or left to right. So, and this usually happens with parameters. So if you don't assign a parameter, usually it's going to rely on contextual typing. Not always contextual typing. I'm going to say is a little bit more rare because a lot of times there's not this variable right here. It's not going to be even a type. It's going to be it's going to be a variable. It's not going to be like an actual object that it can actually search in. But essentially, it's going to search in here, and then it's going to assign the value based on what's inside of this part right here, and try to form or try to infer the type so that you can have type checking inside of your function. But that's going to be the video. That's really anything that you could possibly know about type inference very common and not bad. Type inference is not bad. Type inference is actually your friend. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.